Yo, what is up guys, it's Lunars, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a server for you and your friends on the new Pokemon 3D, which is an awesome game, try it out. So first, you want to go to, you just want to type in Pokemon 3D, Pokemon 3D, I'm bad, so I just typed in Pokemon 3, but you want to go to this website, which is their official website, Pokemon3D.net. and you want to go to downloads you need to um, make an account while you're at it I've already did that so I'm not going to show you that but you want to download the newest file or the newest launcher hit download and then you want to get the newest server and get that too while that's downloading go to your um, desktop make a new folder oh I gotta sneeze uh, I went away. Type in Pokemon 3D, and that is a folder that you want to put your shit in. So you want to go to your downloads and go ahead and drag this in here, and the other one. Now, when you go to your folder, you'll have the Pokemon 3D launcher and the server. Go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit run on the server, um, and it will create these files. And then slash stop. Go ahead and get that over with. Then you want to go to your start. Type in cmd ip config and um, get your default gateway and your IPv4 address. You will need that to port forward for the server. So you want to type in 192.168.1.1 or um, basically whatever your default gateway is. Now, sign into um, your router. However, you can do this. Yeah, you sh you should know how to get into this. It's very important. And on mine, I have to go to the security and apps and gaming, which should yeah what the hell oh there we go apps and gaming single port forwarding alright so you already have it down here p3d pokemon 3d and the ports for this are 15124 so this is how you do it you just type in whatever you want to name it so you know what you are port forwarding for you want to type in the external port 15124 and the internal port make sure this is on both and right here this is the three numbers you get from your IPv4 address and on it's 106 save make sure you apply the settings and hit OK you can go ahead and exit out of this stuff and now you should be ready to go So. You want to open up the launcher and the server. And um, now you're going to have to download the latest version, all of this. <coughs> and while you're at downloading that, you need to get your IP to log in. Uh, just go to what is my IP address. And you will get your IP address. Go ahead and copy it. I don't know why this is taking forever, but... These are uh, the properties. Um, basically, you can do a lot of things, set the weather, the season, blacklist, max players, many things, but, uh, oh, wow, I didn't hit download, I'm really stupid. <coughs> so I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but, to, to actually have an online server on Pokemon 3D, you need a Game Jolt account. So 
So go to GameJolt.com and go ahead and make a um, account. I don't know why it's not loading. Okay, this is almost done. Come on, game jolt. <clears throat> Google game jolt. Come on. need to wait for this game update which takes forever basically if you have this open this means the server the server is running so that's good yo I need this shit to pull up I don't know why it's not pulling up GameJolt.com, let's go. Okay, that's finished, so go ahead and hit start game. And as you see, I already have an account on GameJolt, so basically just make an account, it's really simple and this is the next step you gotta get your token alright now you wanna come down here, click this little thing in the corner sign in then enter your token which is um, right beside your name and log out to log in hit play online and add the server name doesn't matter and then post your address and then hit done and there we go so you're out of 10 players just online and that is it hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial sorry it took so long got a little look it's like computer so yeah peace out guys